feral ghouls like to hide in the dark. Makes night patrol. Right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you 
got your hands on a working pit boy. But you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores, we grant the access. Sorry, lady. Not my problem. Well, then. Good luck in the Commonwealth, stranger. Interested now? No way. Not worth it. Well, then. Good luck in the Commonwealth, stranger. Interested now? I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores. We grant the access. I already have the fusion cores you need. Really? Well then, I suppose I should say, welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. Good meal. I'll see Wait, Maria at the cafeteria. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Of course. Here they are. Thank you. Dr. Penske will greatly appreciate these. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. Signs of radiation. Impressive. 
sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Damn it. I'm not going to like this. Katie Pinn is the teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. Hello, Overseer. Have you been down to medical to see Dr. Forsyth yet? He told me he's very interested in meeting you. I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. Dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Good to know, Austin. Thanks. See, I told you I know things. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. Hey there. Our hey Commonwealth there. guest, doing? welcome to the depot. The and pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. I didn't even notice. Thanks for being polite. Let me know if there's something I can get for you. I've got a little bit of everything lying around here. When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Looking pretty bad in there. Mm, you're whipping up a new batch of pies today? I heard Alexis promise one to Erin, and I know how you hate to disappoint the little ones. Marcus William Somerset. Oh, don't you go on thinking you're so clever. Those pies are going to be for Calvin and his crew. Lord knows they could use a treat right now. Hey. Try telling that to Aaron and breaking the girl's heart. Some of our residents aren't as thrilled about outsiders as most. So please, don't take this one for us. Thanks, Horatio. I love it. I didn't think I'd ever make it in with the hours I've been working. Uh, but you did. And now you look completely refreshed. Just remember, in a couple months and you come back and see me. Off with you. It's rest. No promises, though. But I'll try. This strain is doing quite well. Very little discoloration. Strong cellular structure. Oh. 
Ah, you'll do perfectly. I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. Uh, why don't you just tell me about yourself? Me? I'm the vault biologist and hydroponic gardener. Everything you see here, I grew, including this new fruit I just developed. But I need someone to test it. Sure I can't talk you into trying it? Nah, what the hell. I'll try it. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm, now where'd I put that Geiger counter? Excuse me, Dr. Penske. I can't seem to get the potatoes right. Oh dear, I seem to have misplaced one of my instruments. I need to check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. Pardon me, Dr. Penske. Hmm, gonna need more fertilizer soon. We keep the vaults safe. Traveler, you must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. I've had a few interesting moments. Stop being so modest. My kids would love to hear about anything you've done out in the Commonwealth. Would you mind talking to them and sharing one of your experiences? I suppose I can tell them a few. I won't let them take up too much of your time. Hello, Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? If you want, they aren't that interesting. Stop being modest. The kids are so excited to hear your stories. Children! Children, listen up! We have a guest today, who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a Deathclaw? I did. With nothing more than a pistol and three bullets. Really? A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. I wasn't ready when the Deathclaw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. Pretty good tour, eh? You ever 
Hi sure there. Good to people. Hello. Way better than Gran. But I don't know. I think Gran's pretty good. At least with me, she is. Well, hello. Hi, mister. I hope you don't have anything that needs fixing. I really don't feel like work. Forsyth is asking to see you. Nice pit boy. If it ever starts acting up, see you later. She'll fix it right up. Need a doctor. Forsyth and Rachel are down in the meadows. They can patch you up. Welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? You're still here? Rachel. Need stim packs? Or I can just heal you. Do you get a lot of patients in the vault? No. The people of this vault are surprisingly healthy. If that's all, I have work to do. Hello, Rachel. Anything the matter? I've always got time for an examination. I often wonder about medical facilities in the Commonwealth and just how sanitary they must be. Dr. Forsyth. As the doctor of Vault 81, I expect a certain amount of respect. Traveler, you must have had so many adventures Whoa! in the Commonwealth. A real life Commonwealth person. Katie. It'll be a long time before the kids stop talking about you. Someday, I'm going to check out the Commonwealth. Poor Erin. Her cat got loose in the Commonwealth. You got guts wearing that pip boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal you. Oh, 
I'll be damned if that whole duct isn't gonna need replacing. It's been a while since someone from the Commonwealth last Excuse me. visited us. Ah, uh, I was hoping you'd stop by. Now I know from experience that Commonwealth shows no mercy when it comes to hair. So, how about a trim? You've been outside of the vault? Quincy, born and raised. My mother, may she rest in peace, she was a doctor. Imagine her surprise when she learned I'd rather cut hair than stitch people up. But enough about me. How about that hair of yours? Did you say you were from Quincy? Sure did. Looks like I was one of the lucky ones, too. Last I heard, gunners had taken over. Anything interesting happening in the vault? They say Holt is running around on his wife. <laughs> Apparently, he and Tina DeLuca are secretly getting together. There we go. Never mind about them. I guess that's a no. Hey, Austin. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. That Mr. Handy of yours looks ten times better than old Rusty. Pardon me, officer. Stay safe, sir. I wish my mom and dad would fight Damn it. She's holding it. It's got to be a flaw in the hybridization. Never ends in Vault 81. Don't want any trouble with me. Aaron's cat managed to get out of the vault. Can't imagine it'll live too long out there in the Commonwealth. Feel free to make the most of the services we offer while you're here. Excuse me, Overseer. Take time to look around. You'll have the full run of the place. Damn, I need a break. Watch out for the maintenance that never ends around here. Hey, sweetie. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? What happened? He scratched me. And I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes, and he's the best cat in the whole world. No, I haven't seen your cat. Would you go look for him? His name is Ashes. He's probably scared and lonely. Where do you think he may have gone? Not far. He'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide, you'll find him. I'll find him for you. Thank you! His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Austin. Grant says I'm a bottomless pit when it comes to food. Hi. Looking for something? I have more stuff than I know what to do with. Let's see what you got. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. I can't believe you just ran Anything off like that. Anything I can get that. you today? Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband, Halt, but once you need him, he's nowhere to be found. I swear the cat is more help than he is. He sounds pretty unreliable to me. You don't even know. 
So, you have anything you don't need anymore, or are you just here to gossip? What I wouldn't give is some real time off. Direct any maintenance requests to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. So you're programmed for vault maintenance? An astute observation. I assist Mr. DeLuca with reactor maintenance, tending to the heart of the vault. He prefers to supervise while giving me the privilege of fulfilling the tasks. Does he help out with any other work? If memory serves, the last bit of work he performed was when Mr. Whittaker forced him to clean up the supply room. He was also quite vocal about his distaste for the job. Hey, the outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. Taking a look around. Well, only the old generators to see down here. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? Can't help you there. Damn. Well, if you change your mind or start feeling charitable, look me up. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. Hey, Outsider. Do me a favor. If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get clean. I don't think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. Now I admit, I've got my own sh Hey, remember what I said. This vault would fall apart if I wasn't here to tell old Rusty to fix it. Hey, Bobby. What you looking at? Sick of working. Is this day almost over? Hey, Outsider. Do me a favor. If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. You're obviously upset. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. You should talk to him. 
Let him know he's growing up. Believe me, I have. It's not as easy as it sounds. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Oh man, I need a fix. Hey, Bobby. I heard outsiders were dangerous. You really need that many weapons? People need to leave me alone. I'm just trying to relax. Calvin's always looking for tools. Hey there. Your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. Katie Finn is the teacher here in 81. Should stop by her class. Hey there. So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything. Man, I'd love to be out there. If you want to leave, why don't you just go? Wish it was that easy. It's scary leaving the vault. And the Commonwealth? It's all so unpredictable.
It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun, and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat. But with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Screw work. Do what you want. I wish. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. The only way you get old in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> 